Gracie on time? Hi! Welcome. Hello. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Yes. Yes. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Hi. How are you today? How's it going? <sighs> I'm currently like doing that thing where if I take like more than an, an, an expected day off, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I did not change my hair. It just looks really different because I put up the blonde in these little like pigtails. And so it looks like it's all like streaky. It looks streaky today. I kind of like it. I feel like a pop star. Schnazzy. Thank you. I feel like a pop star today. Like, you know, like I should be like in the those like Xenon movies. Those are old, but I'm feeling my age right now. I don't know. Like, I had this conversation yesterday where I was like, and like, the problem is like, I'm no, I'm not like old. Okay. But like the moment I turned 26, I just wanted to cry a little bit. I just wanted to like, I just had some tears, you know? And like lately, I'm just like really not feeling young. So this is my like, fuck you to that. <laughs> right the 26 just like i didn't like it i didn't like it i'm not ready to like even turn 27 i'm just not i'm just not but it's okay it's okay i'm really i'm i'm all right i'm all right i'm a little sad <laughs> i'm a little sad but we're good i am still like quite a child i wouldn't say a child but i'm not like you know i'm young I'm young. I'm barely over my early 20s. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're an old man. Don't you sweat it. Right? <laughs> I was talking to my mother-in-law about it yesterday and she was like, <laughs> must be nice. Must be nice. It was great. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I just don't feel, I just want to be young. Okay everyone on tiktok right now and that's the problem i shouldn't be spending time on tiktok but everyone on tiktok is like ripping millennials a new one and i'm just like fuck that's me that's me it's a bummer it's a bummer but you know what we're gonna say fuck you to that with pigtails and a video game initially meant for children yeah they can suck it yeah but this should help <laughs> <laughs> this should help i'm really excited to be back today though yesterday was a really nice like reset day um i did not mean to do that um yesterday was like a really cool reset day i went to this park strawberry bun bun hello hi how's it going i just saw your post about your stream i'm so excited to see it how are you today welcome in welcome in Oh, I didn't... How do I get out of the polishing mode? How do I get out of this? So I went to this little park and it was kind of amazing. Um, I didn't really like do anything. I did some writing and it was really chill to just like go sit by the water and write. And I really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend that. Oh, I'm doing really, really good. Strawberry, thank you. It's been a really good day, like very chill. I took some time to just like play with my hair and like, you know, do my makeup and just like have fun. You know what I mean? Um, so that was that was a good morning. But yeah, yesterday I went to the park it was super fun. I spent way too long and way too much money at Starbucks, which is like a great time. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I liked that. Um, what else did I do yesterday? I finally, oh my God, guys, I finally got back on my roller skates. Oh boy. If you ever decide to start roller skating, don't take a week off. Like, just don't. <laughs> because if you do, it is difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to get back to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was an amazing day. It was just a really, really good, like, reset day to, like, get in tune with like myself you know 
Um, so I really liked it. Hold on, I'm having a couple audio issues again, which is no fun. I can't hear my game. And it's driving me mad. Um, this keeps happening. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'll figure it out. That's how you feel when you don't draw for longer than like two days. Facts, right? It's so hard once you build up like that, um, you know, that that habit and you go back to it and you're like, wait, how does this work? How does this work? I swear to God, when I got back on my skates, my like my legs were like, what are you even trying to do here? Like, what is what is your goal? Because like it's not working. You know what I mean? It's just not. How do pencil? How do walk? Right? Like, it was just, it was all of that. And I was like, man, never again. Never again. We are not taking this break again. Um, I took, like, an entire week off. And I was like, ugh. What a mistake. What a mistake. Yeah, it's really, really hard going back. Um, but I love skating. And I'm really excited to, like, get back into it. I took a week off just because like I just had like zero energy. I could not make myself like get up and do it. You know what I mean? Um, and when that kind of stuff happens, I try to be like patient with myself. But there's definitely that like frustration where it's like, oh, I really want to do it. But at the same time, it's like it's so much work and I just have I can't do it, you know. So it was really fun last night to go back on my skates, fumble around. And oh, my God. I had my first fall. I had my first fall on my roller skates and I immediately started just laughing. I don't even know why. I just, I just start laughing. Like, yeah, I just, it, it was just funny to me. I think it's because honestly, I've been waiting for it to happen. Cause I was like, I know at some point here, I'm going to freaking fall. And so I just kept building it up in my head and I was so nervous about it. And then when it finally happened, I was like, that's it. That's it. Strawberry, no, I'm good. I did damage the heck out of my skates, though. There's, a, oh my God, a huge scuff. Huge, like down to a different material. I was like, well, at least it looks like I skate now. <laughs> At least it looks like I skate. Not well, but you know. Um, so yeah, the skates are a little damaged. It does have some battle scars, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, the skates definitely have the battle scars. It's fine. Um, makes me feel like a real, real skater. <laughs> my, uh, like my pads got a little scuffed up too. And I was just like, well, this is fine. This is all right. It'll be okay. Hold on. I'm going to change. I can't decide on an outfit. I should always do this before stream because it takes so long. But I want to, you know, I want to have a fun one today. Um, I want to get a lot of work done in on the island today. Like a lot. So I have like, I have big goals and I'm super hyped. It's going to be a lot. In a good way though. Like it's just, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Basically, I think we're like maybe one or two more like streams away from finishing the island. So I don't know, guys, we're getting there. You've never been a manly man, but when you were in construction for a bit, it was nice to ski, see your boots all worn and scuffed. Makes you feel like you've done something. Yes, exactly. I, I feel legit. I feel legit now. And it's hilarious. Ooh, let's do those. Um, so yeah, it went well. I'm just glad that I got back out there and did it, you know? After taking that week off, I was like, am I gonna like, am I done with this hobby, you know? And like, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to like, just be like, mm, I'm done. That bag is cute. Thanks, this one's one of my favorite ones. I say thank you, like I made this. Yeah, I made this bag. I hope you love it. It's my design. <laughs> I love that bag too, though. I do want to start making like custom t-shirts in the game though. Like the shirt that I'm wearing is a custom design, but not one that I made. So I thought it'd be really fun to eventually try to make my own, um, but it's a pain in the butt, like big time. 
Thank you. I like the fit today. We're, you know, we're fitting our, our theme of a pink city. Okay, let's, let me change my audio real quick. That's all you feel like you ended up doing on there. Okay, I need to change. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let's cooperate today, OBS. No, maybe not. Maybe not. You didn't even get to the part where you can terraform anything. Tracy. You didn't even get to three stars on your island? Wow. Wow. Strawberry, I change my outfit like every day in this game. It's my favorite part of the day. It's my favorite. I don't know why. Tracy, I forgive you. It's okay. Um, but if you ever pick it back up again, that's when I feel like the game gets really fun. <gasps> okay, I can hear the audio. So... There we go. That means y'all can hear it and I can hear it too. Thank God. I just really like to be able to hear it myself. So yay, 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 yay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good. Done. That part is set. Um, yeah, I feel like once you get to terraforming, it just makes the game so much more enjoyable. I will eventually be doing a version of the game where I don't terraform though. But it's still nice to have the construction app because you can lay paths down, you know? Like, you can lay them um, a lot easier. Okay, let's get back into this. Oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. We don't have that much to do, y'all. We finished our fish market. We finished our little beach hangout spot, which I still love. That sounds terrifying. You know, I'll give you points. I'll give you points. It's okay. You tried. You attempted. Thank you, Strawberry. This is the other side of the beach. We built a dump on Tuesday. I'm obsessed with it. It's fantastic. It turned out really freaking fun. I'm gonna pick up these stupid sticks because I hate when they're in the way. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> Um, I really hate when I accidentally do that. I really hate it. And I even opened up the wrong app. Oh my gosh. We're off to a really good start. It's okay. And I'm coughing. What's happening? Okay. This one had a line in it, I think. Yeah, it did. Okay. We're good. <laughs> it's a post-apocalyptic cityscape now reclaimed by nature right i mean this city is kind of a mess that was the goal you know i wanted it to be a little bit messy so here's what we're gonna finish up today this is just our little art area so i need to get out our tables our chairs our arts and crafts and finish up this part after that i want to finish up this like leading you know this little pathway to the movie rock and then i have to figure out something to do here it's probably gonna be like i don't know some sort of like loading like box area i don't even know but i'm glad that celia is enjoying it i love seeing the villagers hanging out everywhere it makes me so happy so once we finish that we may be able we may be able to build a skate park today I think we can get it done. Movie rock is such a cute idea. You never know what to do with beach rocks. It's it's hard. It's difficult. I used to honestly just, I would leave them blank or I would put like little, what are they called? Like little starfish designs on them and they're super, super cute. And I was like, uh, you know, this time I wanna like definitely try to put something like structured, like a, like a full out like idea. You're too afraid to- you'd be too afraid to rock the boat. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, 
I was gonna do our movie rock on the peninsula, but I wanted this to be like, um, you know, a park out outside of the city. So I wanted there to be a couple trees at least, you know, we don't have very many trees here, but a couple. And so the movie, like the movie area fit perfectly on the rock. And I was like, heck yeah, done. We're doing it. And it turned out really fun. I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Thank you so much, Tracy. I put so much love into that area. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It was a struggle. It was a bit of a struggle at first, but I figured something out and it, it looks good. I am content, you know? I'm very content with it. Okay, so we definitely need to get out a couple more chairs and just like really build up that whole space. Some of them will be matching, but that's okay. Um, I don't really want that one. No. I hope the villagers don't take it for granted. They will. They will. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> These villagers take everything for granted. Like, I do so much for them, and they get to just, like, chill. It's quite rude, but I honestly, I get it. I would do it, too, if I could. I absolutely would. Like, I don't blame them. Okay, let's get out a couple of these. This doesn't really pertain to the art area, but we can lay those around. Um, I'm trying to think, what else would we have next to it? Like, not too many other big items. We'll just need, like, some smaller ones, I think. We could give it a little sign. That might be fun. I really need to get rid of all those wheat fields, y'all. There's so many. Like... I don't even, I don't even want to, I'm, I was tempted to sit there and like count them, but I'm absolutely not going to, it's not happening. Okay. Holy jeez, I know, I know. They're following Diogenes? I'm, I'm, I know I said that wrong. What is that? Slash... Who? <laughs> I know. I know. Look, it, I'm young, okay? <laughs> I'm a child. I'm not in my late 20s. That should know things. Nope. Not me. Diogenes. Diogenes. <laughs> it took me, like, really... I really had to say all of those to be able to figure out what... Diogenes. Got it. Done. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a hard word. I struggled. Spelling it out helps though, I will say. That helped me. He was a philosopher that believed in living in the simplest form just for the sake of living. I can vibe with that. I wish I could, like, vibe with it even more, you know? Like, I... I just want to, like, exist, you know? I don't want to make money. I don't want to pay money. I just want to have all the things that I want and not do anything. But the problem is, like, that's not really what he was talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a certified badass. He told Alexander the Great to get out of his sunlight. Good for him. You would have said Diogenes. Diogenes. It's a name, not a word. Well, that's, you know, it's a word too, Leptic. It's a word too. Right? I don't know. Either way, at least now I know how to say it. <laughs> happy about that i'm happy about that oh we could give someone a little scrapbook there um definitely want to get out this pen stand i got it out last time but we just didn't end up finishing the area so today we are finishing you're such a freaking consumer talking about wanting to live minimal i know i'm definitely not a minimalist and i like things for sure for sure. A consumer in a capitalist society? How dare. How dare. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's that TikTok sound that's like, capitalism really popped off today. And like, that's me all the, every time I go to the store. Like, I always find something. I don't, it's a problem. It's definitely a small problem. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Story of your life. I know. It's okay. You know, how are we supposed to help it? You know, I'm not about to go like live in the woods and not buy stuff. No. Look, we all get it. You know, we all get it. <laughs> I'm going to scooch all of this back one. We need a little bit more space. There's just too many things to experience and then throw away. Facts, okay? Facts. We were just talking today about how many clothes I donated when I moved, and I was like, well, yeah. And the problem is most of the ones that I donated to Goodwill, I got from Goodwill. Like, you know? I was like, well, okay. Ooh, let's switch that. Let's switch those. They're called landfills on <laughs> good soup, package all the things. I know. Look, it's hard. It really is. I just really like things. And yeah, I do. I have really worked on impulse buying lately. Um, and I think honestly, I've gotten a lot better. I do try to like limit that um it's difficult though it is but i i don't want to just buy everything that i see um so that's been a goal of mine it's not always great i don't always get it but you know Ugh. that's you you'll throw things and never wear them and then donate them i've done that more than once i really have when i go thrifting i i you know i'll find these things and i'm like oh my god this is an amazing find i have to buy it and I do, and then it just sits in the closet, you know, and it's like, well, I thought I had to have it, but lesson learned. So that's really why I'm trying to get better at all of my like impulse buys and all of that. <sighs> so I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, all that matters is you try. <laughs> she paid rent on clothes. <laughs> I paid rent on the clothes. What do you mean? Like I rented them. <laughs> Where did I scrapbook go? Let me see. No, it went in the middle. I was hoping I could just do that without picking this chair up, but okay. It's better that it's better to have it than not need it to hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Agreed. Agreed. That took a second. That took a second. Perfect. Thank you. I really tried there. It may have taken a second, but I got it. <laughs> I just skim a little, not skim. Skim is the wrong word. I just read a little bit like too fast sometimes. Do I really not have any more like art things? Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me go back in here and take a peek. Let's go window shopping. Talk about hoarding. You know what I mean? Oh, there it is. Needs more arts. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, at least in Animal Crossing, I can hoard without feeling bad. Maybe that's why I like this game so much. Maybe that's why. If it is, I don't blame myself. I don't. This is cute, this is cute. My only problem, honestly, is that we don't have custom designs. So, excuse me, what is this art for ants? Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, okay, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to like make sure This looks like decent. I don't want to overdo it, but it, I just feel like it needed a little something something, you know? A little something something. Cute, cute. Let's put another weed here. Gotta have the weeds. Okay, love. A plus. 
A plus. <laughs> Look, gotta have them. <laughs> gotta have them. Not your lifestyle, but your respect. <laughs> you know, respect is all we ask for. Let's put another flower. Every time I build, I forget to put stuff under stuff, and that's a lesson I need to I need to keep teaching myself. But this area is like perfect. We totally could have finished this last time. I was just like, I don't want to rush it. I want it to be like good. So at least it's looking good. We've got this. <clears throat> Hell yeah. I'm really happy. This was a really fun like section to do. Um, let's see. Do we have... I know I got a box out. Let me find that. We're just gonna pile some stuff on stuff, you know? Um, okay, spray can. Get another one there. Create Celia, don't you... I, they always come over here and then they sit down. Looks great. You're excited to see the skate park? Thank you. The skate park is definitely, like... It's not all, I found, okay. I found some really good inspiration for it um, that I'm super, super excited for. And so it's not really like an original idea, but I'll show you guys later what we're basing it off of because the, the creator is just like a genius, a freaking genius. Basically, we're gonna place two bridges that are gonna look like a freaking um, like ramp. And it's just like, the coolest idea I'd ever seen. So I'm I'm hyped. I can't wait to do it. Paint cans. Okay, cute. Love that. Love that area. That sounds wild. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. As crazy as this game can really get, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, I got this out. I can't forget that. Yeah, we're getting crazy up in here on Animal Crossing today. We're building a skate park with two whole ramps. Two entire ramps. Oh my god, perfect. Oh, that's... That's so cute. Okay, let's get our little sign. I need to get out some customization kit so we can figure out something to do with that. Um, I don't have enough slots to like make it say like art class or something or else I would but we'll make something cute still so let's see I only have really a couple of options so I don't really want to use any of the ones that they offer but we could do our little flag you love that getting crazy in Animal Crossing is like building a skate park, right? The only other crazy thing is, I guess, like, well, we do hit our villagers with nets when we don't like them. So that's pretty crazy. Um, Should we just do like a little pink one? Honestly, I'm going to have it turned around. So that's cute. <laughs> you can make a D&D &D map or something. I don't I could, but like, I just don't have I don't have space. All of our slots are full. That'd be cute. That'd be super cute. But yeah, the, I think the, the net hitting is definitely where it gets a little bit violent, a little bit rude. But you have to do what you have to do, you know? We need cute villagers, and that's how you get them. That's how you get them. All right, so imagine this says art class. Okay, imagine that says art class, and then you walk over to the art class. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you made a whole wizard robe to match the witch hat for, for your dude. That's amazing. That's amazing. Like, you designed one? That is so cool. That's freaking cool. Love to you miss D&D. &D. I miss it sometimes, but I really struggle with the game, personally. Like, I just... I struggle with like the imaginative part of it and like, you know, 
being like creative with like what you're doing in the game like i just i struggled with it for sure like i think i just would get caught up in it and then it wouldn't be like and then it wasn't fun and like that's not the point you know do you need some more visual aids mm. yeah the last time that i played we had a huge map on the um uh like the table and like little figurines that really really helped um and one time we played it online like through like a website where like the dungeon master like um basically like created the world and that definitely helped i have no imagination it's okay thank you thank you for the comfort i really appreciate it <laughs> i have some i have like a decent amount <laughs> right i have some imagination not as much as i would like but you know what can you do what can you do all right so i want to create like a whole little path leading both ways so i'm going to place these rocks as like little fillers and see what it would look like I think it looks a little messy if we do too many of them, though. So I just don't want it to be, like, ugly. Ugly. Time to call up Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, my God. Roll 20 what on my imagination. Call, call up your boy. Oh, my God. I, um... I just think imagination, like, when you're trying to play D&D, &D, you need, like, a different kind of imagination. Like, I just, I don't know. I know I'm overthinking it. This is why I probably didn't have fun. I just overthink the heck out of it. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let me, let me make some changes. I gotta figure out how to fix this. I might extend our sidewalk a little bit. Hold on. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure it out. You worked really hard setting up maps. Oh, roll 20 was the site that we used. Okay. Okay. I didn't remember that you had done like a lot of work setting up the maps. I feel bad. I think that was the most fun that I had playing D&D &D because like it just it helped a lot for sure. Um, so I think that made the most sense for me to be able to like enjoy it. If that makes sense. I would do that again. I would do that again for sure chase over here and drop some of that imagination on me yeah let me call him up being a tm is thankless work i don't need to be thankless but it is a, a lot of work not something i don't i don't think i could ever do like i i really don't to be honest that's a lot of work and it was definitely impressive it was definitely impressive like, that just looks so... It looks hard, you know? <laughs> it's freaking difficult. Okay, I like this sidewalk a little better. I think we can mess with it and make it work. Excuse me, Celia. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell us where to go. <laughs> Yeah, our group was very needy, it was especially with me on it. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. It was so difficult. It was so difficult. I'm not telling you a story, we're doing it together. Oh my God. I just want the story. Can you just sit there and tell me the story and then that's how I play? I think it would go a lot better. It would help me. Better for me. More work for you, but it's okay. You, you could do that. 
Hmm. I know I ordered some trash cans. Like... I know I ordered trash cans. Let me do it real quick, just in case. Turns into a choose-your-own-adventure move. Or novel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. I would do that. But the problem is, like, that exists in other ways, and that's not D&D, so... You know. That is the hard part. <laughs> Don't cry. Okay, trash. Oh no, it's not called trash bags. It's called something- oh, garbage can. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Let's buy some trash. The solution to that is making the NPCs former murder of us. <laughs> Murdered? That'd be kind of funny. Oh, I really wish we had a garbage can. I'm sad. Let me double- I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me come through this way. <sighs> yeah. We don't have them. We don't have them. Ugh. That sucks. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. I will time travel and we'll go get that one later, but... Your players tried to kill your shopkeeper once they- once only to find he was a level 20 artificer. Nice. Nice. See, nothing ever goes to plan in D&D &D and it's stressful, okay? Like, it, it just stresses me out. And when I don't know what to do, I'm like, someone tell me. And that's not how it works. And that's like, like I just get, like, frustrated, you know? I'm just, I don't know if I'm, like, I don't know if I'm patient enough. I want to be, though. I do. Like, I want to have fun with it. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I think that works a little bit better. I want to put like a little trash can right here. Um, let me see. I don't think we need a fence, but I can see how it would look. I can see a less crunchy system. How do you mean? Ooh, we can do a bench, duh. Duh. Less numbers, more role-playing. See, that would probably work a little bit better. Um, Cause learning all of that was definitely difficult too. And now that I haven't played for like years at this point, I'm like, I'm scared to go back. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And then I don't want to feel dumb. <laughs> so yeah. That would be a good way to ease back into it. I think. Yeah, it's just like it's just like the skates thing, you know? Like I don't I don't know. How move? How do? No. Nah, I don't think we need that. I also don't think we should put a bench. What do I do? <laughs> these areas are so dumb. Why did I make these? It's a very high maintenance game. Absolutely. Absolutely. You should see how many books we have. Like how many like D&D &D books there are that we have. We don't even have all of them, I don't think. <laughs> well, I think you did good. I just, you know, it's not something I ever had experience with, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Comes more of a lifestyle. Not that you would know. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have a fan? 
<laughs> okay. That actually might be a good solution to use those fences. Um, let me try one other thing. We barely have any. The only extra one is Xanthar's, really? Jesus. How many are there? D&D is the most intense game I've ever seen. Okay, this works a lot better. I like the fence, don't get me wrong. She's my favorite item, but look at that. Very good, very good. Let's slide her over. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited now. This is looking adorable. Oh, there or there. Big decisions here, big decisions. I think that's good. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased. This is good. It's looking solid. Hmm. I don't know. What about to the left of the path? Like a, like by the blanket? Do it like that. Or like that. That'd be kind of fun. I do like being able to see the back of it too. I don't think it throws it off though. But maybe if we do just bring it up that one. I kind of like that. Is that what you meant? You're no interior designer. Good thing it's not an interior. <laughs> you just scribble. I looked at some of your art, Tracy. Um, my doubts were correct. Um, your work is impressive. I see it. I see it. I really miss doing art. So I have, I'm working on this book right now that gives you a series of prompts every week. And one of the prompts was to make a list of 20 things that you enjoy, which by the way, it was kind of hard to list 20, not just like enjoy in general. It's just like, what are things that like you like to go do that are like fulfilling, you know, that help recharge you and all of that. Um, and so I did have a hard time filling up the list to be honest, but um, one of the things on the list was I really love drawing and I really love like watercolor. And it's something that I honestly have not done in a long time and that I really want to go back to um, just playing around with. And so it's become kind of like a new goal of mine. And it was fun to like, I don't know if I'd say it was fun, but it was interesting to sit down and be like, wow, this is something that I like that I don't do. And why, <laughs> you know, like, why am I not doing it? watercolor is one if not your favorite medium i love watercolor um so yeah i think that i'm gonna mess around with that and see what i want to like play around with and create because i really want to do more of those things that are fulfilling you know that recharge me um and leave me feeling like accomplished so that was fun to like sit down and you know although i couldn't completely fill up my list um I was like, this is a really good start of remembering like what I want to do that is like good. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Eventually, I also would really love to learn um, gauche, gouache, gauche. I think it's just gauche. Um, I would really love to learn that. Oh my God, it lands right in the middle of the fucking flower. Are you kidding me? That is so cute. Gouache. I think it's gauche. <laughs> <laughs> um i would really love to get some practice with that um because watercolor is like pretty easy in my opinion um i wouldn't say it's easy i'm i'm pretty good at it and it's hard to make it look bad where with um gauche gouache squash it's very easy to mess up 
So I don't really know like what I'm doing with it. And so I need to practice. Okay, there's someone's like, I don't know, lost ticket. You know, why not? Gucci? Ah, uh, ah, uh, sounds like squash. Okay, gouache. Gauche? Gouache? Is gua- Hold on. Now I need to confirm because I'm getting confused. Okay. Gouache. Yeah, okay, okay. I definitely, I did believe you, but I was just getting confused. <laughs> I was just getting a little confused. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would really like to learn gouache a little bit better. I think it'd be really fun. It's difficult, but I do love like what you can do with it. Okay, drop, cute. Why not, you know, why not have a little heart laying around? Everyone needs a little heart. Okay, cute, cute. Over here, I can throw down our little bag. Why not? Will our magazine fit there? You just use white gouache uh, for the highlights and to lighten colors. That's definitely very smart. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying. Love that I'm trying. I promise. I know I keep doing this where I make myself myself sound like an idiot on stream, but yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Good thing it's on English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> um. That takes up some good space. That's good. That's good. It's French. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um. Either way. Yeah. Borrow from Italian. Interesting. French is basically English. It's definitely not. I took French for... I took French in 7th grade and 8th grade. And it was the worst. We've stolen so many words. Like, bottom of the bag. That's so funny. Um, I would say there are, like, similarities in how it sounds. But... I don't know. It is very different when it comes to, like... the see here i go i'm gonna make myself sound like an idiot but like the male and female version of things like i'm just very grateful that english is not that way <laughs> and i can live a little bit of an easier life <laughs> it's not an easier life that's uh, that's not what i mean like i'm not saying people that speak french have a hard life <laughs> French is really hard, strawberry. I'm oh, the fromage. French is super hard. I honestly, I hated taking it in middle school, but because I took it, I actually got to go to France on a like school trip. So that was pretty sick. Why is that? Why did that drop all the way over there? Ah, uh, no, nah, I think that actually should stay there um but because i like took french i got i was able to go to this like you know school-led program thing where we got to go amazing amazing so i got to go my freshman year of high school my like dad worked crazy overtime my mom worked super hard and they made it to where i could like literally go to france and it was nuts it was nuts although i will say at 14 years old i don't know if i like I just don't know if I appreciated it enough. I think I appreciated it like as much as I could, but I would I would die to go back. I would just, I would die. Is that why they say I couldn't eat a horse? Or to... <laughs> it was a very cool school trip, Strawberry. I got to go with like three of my close friends at the time and like, it was a blast, honestly. And even though it was like a very structured tour of the, you know, 
of France, right? Like we went to the Versailles, we went to Versailles, we went to the Louvre, we went to, you know, the Eiffel Tower, all of that. It was, it was so cool. Um, it was fun seeing all those tourist things, you know? How was the food? So I ate a lot of baguettes and crepes because it was the only thing I knew how to eat or how to order. It was the only thing I remembered how to say. <laughs> oh my god. And then for dinners, they would like take us all to like um like a restaurant and it was like basic. It was okay. It was basic. Holy crap. It was really funny though because like I didn't know what how else to order it. So I ate a lot of Nutella crepes and a lot of like ham and Swiss baguettes. Sounds pretty crap. Eh. Mm. <laughs> I wish that I could go back and like figure out like how to say things a little better and order some better food just to experience that part of it um but I still ate fine you know we got we got the food we had it all right I think that this is like extra enough I don't mind that but let's move our stone path like one over I mean we, technically we could connect it all the way down if we want it hmm do i want that though it's a really good question it's a really good question okay force yourself to try to sleep good luck i wish you a lot of luck keep me tabbed on the thank you so much i appreciate you um that's like a huge thing to help support me so thank you thank you for hanging out and being on time it was nice to chat it's really nice to chat okay so let's see oh that's so sweet tracy you rock you rock get some good rest get some good rest oh fuchsia enjoying the beach well done i've been waiting to try and get her a picture or like to get a picture of her enjoying the areas i've made and it's been really difficult okay don't look at me don't look I wish she would move around, but she's singing. Isn't she? I love her so much. I love having her on this island. She just fits in effortlessly. Oh, that's a cute photo. We love her. And I love how sassy she is. Like, she really... She completes me. She completes this island. Her and Vladimir stay on this section. So the bottom left is Vladimir and Fuchsia. They're right next door. They have matching shops. Not really, but she owns a hair salon. He owns like an apparel shop and it's very fun. Who's my favorite, favorite villager that I have? It's definitely, okay. It's definitely between Fuchsia and Celia. But the problem is I have so many of my dreamies. Like, I love them. Um, I love Vladimir. He's definitely one of my favorites. Um, but Celia is just such a sweetheart. I love her. She's so, like, she's such a fun villager to have. I like that she's a normie. And, like, I don't know. She's just chill, you know? Um, but I love Fuchsia, too. So it's between them right now. And Henry, I know. Like, this list, I just, I love them all. I love Patty. Poppy's adorable. Bo, Teddy, you know, our sweet old man. And then Henry. And Pecan. She's like another sassy one. I think her and Fuchsia would hang out. For sure. But I like, I definitely view Fuchsia and Vladimir on this island as like best friends. I'm gonna try extending this and see if it works. I don't know. Aw, thank you. I love our lineup here. I really do. I think it's very fun and they're all kind of like connected to their island by like color. So in our pink city section, you know, pink villagers. And then Henry, Drago, and Celia are gonna be in a jungle core section. So it's gonna be like a fully themed out you know, all of the areas are just fully themed out by decor um, and villagers. So I love them. They're handpicked. Yes, they all fit in their habitats. 
Exactly. And I, it's perfect because I feel like Vladimir and Fuchsia are definitely like city girls. They love the city. They don't want to be anywhere else. Okay, I don't know how we're going to like this, but let me let me run back and just see if we're loving it or if we're hating it. <laughs> we're probably hating it, but I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I mean, I'm not hating it, honestly. It feels weird now that it doesn't come over here, but I don't want to make this like side a sidewalk. I want it to be like cute and naturey. So that definitely makes it difficult to decide. Oh my God, she's napping, shut up. Hold on, we have another fuchsia photo moment. Fuchsia photo moment. I love her. You think it looks good there? Okay, I'm glad you think it looks good because I was just like, I don't know, I don't know. I love that Henry's in the background. <laughs> that is so cute. I love her so much. And Henry's just like on the little flamingo. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, okay. All right, Fuchsia, you've taken up my time. Okay, I think that this will work. I think, honestly, I might use some more like steel fences just to like make the area feel like separate he looks so content i know i would be too honestly i would be too if i was sitting on a beach on a flamingo floaty right now that would be ugh, ideal like truly truly ideal um actually we don't have enough of our white steel fences and i don't want to go to harv's island right now so <laughs> let's see if our rope partitions would work like, maybe we'll use those. It's a little more beachy anyway, so I think it would make sense if it was on, you know, on the sidewalk right next to a beach. And we already have them here, so it'll kind of tie in. I don't know. Same, though, I know. Like, that sounds so nice. It sounds amazing. I miss the beach so much. So much. Okay. I got to experience um, the California, a California beach for the first time last year. And oh my God, never going back, never going back. It was amazing. Oh, that looks odd. That looks odd. You've never been out West. It was so cool. It was my first time and it was just like, I was like, I could, I can't believe I'm here. Like, I literally, like, I don't, what do I do? I can't believe it. So, so fun. Um, I'm from Texas, and so Texas beaches, like, I don't know if you've ever been. They're not gorgeous. They don't slay. Okay, you haven't been further than, like, Ohio and Tennessee. Yeah. It's, um, it, for me, it was just, seeing the difference of it versus a texas beach and i was just like what it was amazing it was so good um i think this is gonna work i think it's gonna happen okay i like this feels almost like a boardwalk it's definitely not but you know I like that. You hear how Florida has gorgeous beaches? I would honestly love to go there too. Um, like I would definitely check that out. California for me was just like a, like, it was kind of like a bucket list type thing, you know, where I was like, one day, one day it's gonna happen. And it freaking did. And I was ugh, amazed. I know eventually I'm gonna go back to the beach here in Texas and I'm just gonna be like, you know. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that you still have one like that you love, you know? Um, but I definitely, I highly recommend a trip out to the West if you ever do. Um, it was like, it was, a, it, was a, it was a trip. It was expensive, but it was like, I just felt so happy 
I think I just love the water, honestly. It could have been any other beach than Texas and I would have been happy, but um, it was very cool. And I got to visit friends there, so. Okay, I like these a little bit spaced out. That made it look a little cooler. I like the shadows that these give as well. It's fun. Mm. Hawaii too, oh my God. Oh my God. I would, I would probably stand on the beach, right? Like I would make the trip, I would go to the beach, I would stand there and probably just cry tears of joy immediately. Like, I don't, I don't, like what else do you do other than like cry? I didn't mean to hold that. Um, I would, yeah, <laughs> say, oh my gosh, I just, yeah, that would be so cool. But I think honestly a very like far off thing because like, that's expensive. <laughs> That's an expensive trip. <laughs> All right, so that is done. We have our little walkway over to the rock. Uh, this kind of honestly makes it a little bit too blocked off. So I think we'll keep our heart crystal and put the bag somewhere else. I like that because you can still run over it and it just adds some color. You have a friend who moved over there for a year. Oh my God. She posts everyday pictures and videos. You just live vicariously through her. I would too. I absolutely would too. Oh my gosh. That'd be so amazing. I hope that you can like visit her. Like that'd be so cool. Oh, she doesn't live there anymore, huh? So the heart crystals, I got them from a treasure island, but these are, you get them from Reese and Cyrus when you like do their wedding photos at Harv's Island. I'm 99% sure. Well, you'll get yourself to Hawaii one day, don't worry. You'll get yourself there and it'll be amazing. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of them at Treasure Islands one time. It was honestly a long time ago and I've never used them before. Um, but I think that they're just fun to drop around. I like to drop items like that, like these tickets. Um, over here I have like a dropped peach and another ticket. It just really helps add something, you know, just like a little something, um, to make the areas less boring, but you can still walk over them. And that is what matters to me. Like, I, I need to be able to walk. Okay, so over here, I want to place... Oh, perfect. I wanted to place our bike. And just a couple other items in front of the movie area. So... I was thinking over here, we could do our little hand-washing thing. No worries. Oh, hold on. That's good. Um, yeah, definitely try to find some. They're very fun. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. I'm happy. Mm, that doesn't quite fit. Yeah, I really like to use like the heart crystals, um, the tickets, the... Um, on this island, I actually use a lot of like... <laughs> so I use a lot of like trash so like boots tires oil cans you know what I mean all of those help take up space but you can still walk over them good oh thank you I love this little just a little uh, additive addition addition um to that area that's fun you know what I wish I had I really wish I had a sand castle. Like, I think that would really be perfect. Let's check. Let's check. Oh my God, not stream elements, putting that at the perfect time. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, Adland is like a sad place to be. Okay, um, let me see if I have one. I really, I don't think I do, um, but that would be a perfect addition. Too many wheat fields. Okay, all the way up. Wow, I have a lot of like S items. Oh, we have a sandbox. If it wasn't blue, I'd probably use it. 
if it wasn't blue, that would work. Um, but I don't, I don't love it. So what else could we do? Honestly, I might have to like order a sand castle. I think that I have it in my nook shopping. Um, ooh, or we can do an outdoor picnic set. Let's see how that looks. I don't think we can customize the sandbox. Like that's the only color of it I've ever seen, but I will try. Let me see how this part, this one looks real quick. Cause if I can customize it, I would love to use it at least somewhere. Oh my God, where did it go? Okay, I just like scrolled right over it. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's so cute. Imagine like a little group of friends just having a little picnic date. Cute. I think so too. I think so too. I love that. I love that. Let me look up real quick if the sandbox is customizable. customizable. I always just Google these things instead of trying at this point. <laughs> Cause it's so much quicker. No, ugh, only blue. Why would they do that? Why would they give us such a cute item but not let us like mess around with it? You know, bummer. <laughs> it's too much work. Cause either I can, you know, try it with a workbench or go all the way to Harv's Island and see if it's customizable. I know everything freaking should be. But it's okay. It's okay. I mean, the only really way to customize everything you want is to mod your Switch, which I'm not doing. And I can't. Um, my Switch is not moddable. Oh my god, she's standing on a peach. What is Fuchsia doing today? I wait forever for her to, like, come out so I can take photos of her. And this is what she does. She stands in the middle of a peach singing. <laughs> I don't get it. You do you, girl. You do you. <laughs> what a queen. I know, right? She, can, she can't do much wrong. Okay, I was going to put pillows around here, but honestly, I kind of like it. Just chill in there. Very cute. Very cute. Um, Do we want to put down any, like, stones? I could do that. I don't think we really need it. Like, I can try and see what it looks like, but I think that the beach over here can be kind of empty. Our other beaches are like freaking filled. Like there is nowhere to go. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I'm gonna put it right here, like right behind where I'm standing. Oh, or not, okay. That's fine. What if we pull her? That's cool. I like that. That is fun. Yay. All right. Um, let me do a couple more weeds. Thank you so much. It's, I wish I had made the custom design myself, but kudos to whoever did. I know I have their code somewhere, but kudos to them all right i like that let's push this one i want to it's not letting me freaking uh turn it around i was thinking i would have this one actually like lined up right here and i might grab a couple more so like because we have a little bike area back here and then like the mopeds can go right here just to kind of finish it off you know i wanted to leave this beach like completely minimal and like here i am like being like oh it's done no it's not it needs more i can't i can't do a minimal build it's like i don't know i don't know what it is it's difficult for me <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you like the idea though. I'm glad. I think this is gonna be cute. It's worth it. It's worth having the clutter, okay? It's fine. Did 
Do I want a flamingo? I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm gonna try it though. Okay, let's see. My pockets are a freaking mess right now. I don't know where to go. Okay, here's one. You always want to be a simple person, but you can't. I know. But again, that is the freaking... That is the perks of this game is like you can do however much you want. Okay, like... I love it. I love having that freedom, honestly. Okay, I think that two is kind of perfect. Oh, fuchsia. Okay, I think that two is perfect. Um, any more than that might be like too much. So... Let's see if Mr. Flamingo would look weird. He might, but... <laughs> I kind of love him. He's just like chilling. It might be too much. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Perfect. I like him too. Okay. I think we're good. He can stay. We'll allow it. Fuchsia, do you allow it? I hope so. I really hope so. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop doing Fuchsia photo shoots at some point, but I don't know when else I'll get the opportunity. No, I gotta run. Gotta run. Oh my god, Fuchsia. Ma'am, I need you to like... Go on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. We got this. Hold on. Perfectly annoying. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Not her smelling the chips. Dang it. She went. I went. I got this. I got this. Maybe we need to just use the the uh, handheld camera. <laughs> She's like a cat, I know. Where did she go? I can't, I can't move. <gasps> work, bitch, work. Yes, show off that purse. She has such an ugly purse in this game. I mean, it's a cool purse, but it doesn't suit her. It doesn't suit her, yes, girl. Oh my god, those are- that was perfect. Let's look. I'm so judgmental. Look, it's a cool purse, but like, why doesn't she have a pink one? Some of the villagers in this game carry around a pink purse with a flower, and I don't understand why she doesn't have it. That is a very fun shot. I love it. Oh my- Oh, Fuchsia. Their, all her eyes are closing, all of them. It's so adorable. Oh my god. What a badass bitch. Look at that. That might be my favorite, for, personally. Oh my god. Fun. I can't wait to, to do those later. We have a lot of fu photos of Fuchsia today. Good god. She's been all around town all around <laughs> yay okay i like it i like it a lot all right so that little section that we built up our extra sidewalk on again like i just want to make it like a loading dock so i don't know if we have enough boxes still but let me see what we have and if not honestly i'm down to go to a treasure island today because i'm getting I'm struggling. I've used a lot of my city related items and I need more. Um, so let's see what we can do. I definitely am going to need our truck and as many box items as I have. So let me see. Let me see. She's the queen of the pink city. Hell yeah, she is. She's the mayor of this place. Um my gosh i'm like really like really low on stuff <laughs> i know that i have a lot of items like i'm low on the stuff that i want let me clarify 
Let me clarify. Although, I bet, honestly, I could do some... I could, like, make stuff. Like, I think that I have DIY recipes. So I'll check that in a second, too, just in case. Because, like, I don't want to make stuff for no reason. Or, like, go to a treasure, re uh, treasure island for no reason. So let's see. I honestly don't DIY very much. <laughs> Still. All right. Oh my God, look at this. Wait, in order to make all of these, you need cardboard boxes? How do I make the cardboard box? I don't think I can. Let's see what they have in the recycling bin. Oh, I forgot KK was here today. Hey, bud. How's it going? I never sit and listen to him. Um, are my pockets full? They almost are. Okay. Well, let's take as many cardboard boxes as we can, because they're always in here. I'm glad that I remembered that was a thing. And let's go craft some stuff. Let's see what we can do. I seriously always forget about the recycling bin, but honestly, in that bin, sometimes you can find, like, wallpaper and, like, like good stuff. I'm sorry, Fuchsia, you're just in my way. Oh, no, I can't customize because my pockets are full. Okay, let's start putting some stuff down first. Let's see if our truck will fit. I don't know if it will, to be honest. You remember the first time she got cake? I did record it. I was so excited. It was like, oh my God, I did it. You know what I mean? I did it. <laughs> Tom Nick won't even come out the front door to see him. I know, I feel so bad. Cause like, he's usually got like one or two people watching him, you know? But hey, like, he's doing him. Ooh, there's no room to put stuff in between. So we can only really fill up, like, these two tiles. The first game she ever beat. It's true. And the only one. <laughs> and the only one. But hey, it's progress. It's progress. So we actually don't need to even craft that much stuff because we can't fit that much. Um, like I'll fit as much as I can, but can't do that much back here. Same. <laughs> so strawberry, this is, you might not know this, but this is pretty much like the first video game I ever played. Um, and because of that, I'm definitely like very behind in my like video game knowledge just because I started playing this game last year and was immediately obsessed, obviously. Like here I am streaming it. Um, but that's why like this game means so much to me. It's like the first one that I ever really experienced. Yeah, like I was like, oh my God. When I was a kid, my brother played video games, but like I was into a lot of sports as a kid. I did a lot of like, I did the swim team. I was in cheer. I was in gymnastics. And so I didn't really play games. And then like in high school, I just, I don't know, not that many people were, so I never did. Um, and last year, I'm sorry, not last year, 2021, um, a friend introduced me to Animal Crossing and I was like, what? How have I been missing out on this? And it just was an immediate, an immediate obsession. like seriously immediate <laughs> and I'm so glad I'm so glad because like I love it and I've gotten to play other games now that I love you know which makes it even better you started on ps1 when you were five that's amazing um I really like yeah, I don't, you know, it's, I'm not like upset that I never played games as a kid, but it would definitely help just because like, I'm not great at like my, my video game knowledge. And like, you know, when I try to play new games, it's really difficult because I don't have the knowledge of like game concepts at all. And so like, 
you know, it takes more time. But it's still a blast, and I'm glad that I, like, enjoy it now, you know? I never understood, like, how much fun it would be. <laughs> yeah, you trying to get me to play Overkick, Overcooked. Um, oh, Strawberry, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I have really, like, I've gone ham in the Animal Crossing worlds, and I would have it no other way. This is, like, kind of, like, the fourth time I've done an island now. In, like, just over a year. <laughs> I would definitely... I would try Overcooked again. I would. For sure. I would do it. But now I, um... I played a lot of Coral Island recently, and that was really fun. Um, I really want to... I tried Stardew Valley and didn't like it, which I know is, like, a sin. Um, but I kind of want to try that again. Like, I actually really have been really interested in trying that again. Because I think that I could have fun. Man, not left it calling me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, yeah, I think that I want to try... Cora, I want to try Stardew... I want to try a couple other new games and just, like, expand my horizons. Oh my god, cute. I'm so glad we crafted that. We can't afford the DLCs. No Sims. Yeah. So, I opened up the Sims, Strawberry. I opened them up. Or, not, I opened it up. I opened the game, like, the free one. And... I got immediately so confused that I got, like, really stressed out and just stopped. <laughs> I just immediately stopped. I was so overwhelmed. I really... What I need to do is, like, watch videos because I don't understand it. Like, one bit. One bit. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. I was like, what? What? Wow, I don't understand. Like, what is happening? Oh my god, this looks so cool. It's a lot of, like, you know, it's a lot of cardboard, but it's cool. It's, it's very complicated, and, like, I'm so used to Animal Crossing, and I was like, what is this? And there is a very long history, and so, like, trying to catch up is, like, another thing that makes it a little overwhelming, because I'm just like, what? Like, what is this? Like, how? I don't... I don't understand. And then there's like so many opinions on like Sims 4 and then like there's babies and I'm just like, what is happening? What do I do here? I thought that Sims were just like a place where like it was like a thing where like people would like hook up, you know, not like they would make like their characters hook up. Like, I don't know is the problem. Like, I don't know. I don't understand the game. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I remember that being a thing, though, and I was like, that's interesting, and then I never played it. Just never did. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to add some kind of bench there. Maybe we'll add a white one, just to change it up. It's a very chaotic game. Yeah, that's the vibe I get. That's the vibe I get, for sure. Um... Maybe one day. I think first, I really want to tackle Stardew again and see what I can do. Because I learned that there's also mods for Stardew. And I was like, that's fun. Like, you can, like, customize stuff. And I was like, that's pretty cool. We don't need a locker there. That doesn't make sense. Let's use the plant partition. Cute. Okay, cute. I think that that area is perfectly messy, and I'm pretty happy. Let's see. I like it. I like it a lot. Although, I could customize the truck. Should we do that? Yeah, I think that that's, that's next on my list to, like, give a shot again and, and try out. So, I'm excited. It is cute. Um, the first time I played it, the only thing that really stressed me out about it was the, like, mining and, um, fighting. Like, it, I don't know why, it just it gave me such stress. But, 
since I've started playing Coral Island, it doesn't like make me as nervous. Like combat isn't like as stressful to me. Whereas before I was like, I want nothing to do with it. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, there it is. And the combat in Coral Island is very easy. I don't know how it is in um, Stardew, but yeah. Oh my God, Strawberry, you absolutely should. So I'm sure you've heard the game is definitely in early access. So there are like some tiny issues with it, but the game itself is so much fun. I spent like when I first downloaded it, I swear to God, I spent so much time right away in that game. It was a blast. It was a blast. I haven't gone back to play it in like a couple of weeks now. Um, just because like I've been doing this a lot more, but it it's really, really fun. I am um, 10 out of 10, honestly. I think you'd like it. If you like stuff like Animal Crossing, Stardew, Sims, like I think it's fun. And it's a lot like, you know, it's really focused on like farming and resource management, which has been fun for me to practice because I never played a game like that, you know, so it's really good and it's a beautiful game. Oh, no, I wanted it to face the other way. Ew, ew. I'm gonna have to take this down and go like this. Should have planned that a little bit better. Oh, my God. Oh my god. You love farming in games? Yeah, the one- like Coral Island farming is super fun. It's a little stressful, but once you get the hang of it, it's not hard. Okay, this area is almost done. Almost there. We can do this. Oh no, can I push it back? Yes, okay. Harvest Moon 2. I've heard of Harvest Moon as well. There's a lot of games I really need to try. There's a lot. One day we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll try all of them. Yay, the fence went back perfectly. Okay, so I think that our view of this area is going to be a lot cooler with like the truck customized. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. I like it a lot. Cool beans. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I've heard of Harvest Moon. I need to check it out. Is it a lot different than um, Stardew Valley? Or are they kind of similar? Cause like, from what I remember, they're similar, but I don't, I don't remember. I don't know, honestly. Okay. So that is done. I'm, I'm done with that area. It's the farming part with nothing else. None of the social stuff or combat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. It's interesting though that there's no like social stuff because the social stuff seems really fun. They have that aspect in Coral Island, which I really like. And people definitely compare Coral Island and Stardew Valley a lot. I don't know too much since I haven't played Stardew Valley, um, but the socialization in Coral Island's really fun. I got you. But yeah, I, I still want to try it because at least there's no combat. That part's less stressful. <laughs> I can freak out less about that. So all these areas on like with like sidewalks and stuff, these are giving me stress because I don't know what to do. And like this one over here. So, and then behind resident services and right here. So those are probably gonna be like the last things that we do um, to put like finishing touches, you know what I mean? Like behind the fences here. Like I feel like there should be something, you know? So that'll be like kind of the last thing. Um, good God, the lag is crazy. Ah, that's bad. This is the downside of using so many fences. Um, but I think, yeah, all those tiny areas will definitely come last because it's freaking stressful. But this is where we're going to do our skate park. Uh, it'll be a really, really small one, but we're going to have some fencing back here. 
and then ramps. So, let's see. Real quick, I'm gonna take a break first. We're kind of at like halfway mark-ish. I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'll be back and we're gonna start on that. And I'll show you all the inspiration and um, like the initial creator that I found. So yeah. Okay, let me see. What time is it? 35? I'm excited. I can't wait to build it. It'll take a little bit of time traveling, but it's gonna be worth it. So... I'm putting 342 because that's my time, but 42 and whatever everyone else this time and I'll be back, okay? Okay, bye!
And we're back. Okay. So. Right now. Let me go pull up our inspiration real quick. Let me show y'all. Oh my god, my Pinterest is being so slow. I hope that I have enough room to build this, y'all. Because, like, now that I'm looking at this whole section, it's, like, a little small. It's a little small. But let me get... Okay, I'm gonna try and like make this a little bigger. This is the inspiration. Boom. So this is what I wanna do. I was trying to find, oh my God, I thought it would, thought it would stay like where I had it. Okay, all done, all done. Oh my God. I shouldn't have cropped it. I shouldn't have cropped it, y'all. Why is it acting so weird? Any who's all, this is what I want to do. I'm going to open the image in a new tab. At least I tried. I did, okay? I really did. I promise. Look, okay, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch the browser. But this is what I want to accomplish. So, I don't know. I want to do it pretty similar to they had it. So, like, let me, uh, let me, let me map this out real quick. I need to see how many tiles we really have right here. Um, cause to fit two bridges, like this would be where we would have to terraform, okay? And then we could terraform over here. Right, okay. I know y'all can't see this, I'm just like mapping out like where it would go. And then the bridge, or I'm sorry, the incline itself takes up like two and a half. Oh my God, it's not enough room. Oh no, okay. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, so it, this is what we're working with. There's not enough room to do it. I'm gonna have to tear down this incline. I'm going to tear down this incline and build it up. And then we might just have like stairs going up. Not stairs, but like a ladder. Like a permanent ladder going up to the skate park. You know what I mean? I think we'll have to do that. I can't put them uh, closer together, loved it, because right here is where we're going to terraform. We have to have like a, a two by two of a cliff. And then the bridge itself is going to take over two spaces so it would go to about right here which is also where the other one would go and i need a little bit of room in between them so yeah it's okay if we tear down this incline we're set so let's do that <laughs> let's just do that all right i know that sucks but it's okay. The incline right there is not like crucial. Like I don't have to have it. You know what I mean? So I think that, I think it will make it work. Oh, I didn't mean to, I meant to go talk to Tom. Why did I save and end? Why did I do that? Someone tell me. <laughs> Why did I do that? What the heck? That's okay, let me just get back in the game. We'll go talk to Tom. 
We'll tear down the incline, go to the next day. And then we have two inclines to build, so it's quite a bit. Can't do it. Pack it up, boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time for Stardew. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm a pro. I'm a pro Animal Crossing player. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's- Oh no, I don't have my pipe set down anymore either. I'm definitely not a pro right now. I'm really not. <laughs> it's okay, we get those good grass sounds. I love a good grass sound. Alrighty. Oh no, our bestie is playing to no one. Pro ish. Full pro. Full. I'm a full pro. It's okay. It's okay. Wow, I barely ever talked to Tom. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Let's talk infrastructure. I just hate doing this process. It just takes so long. And I'm like, I just want to get it over with. Like, chop, chop. Chop, chop. I only have like three. So yeah. Easy peasy. Okay, and this is the part where I always mess up. You must not forget to go down and then press A. I swear to God, I've done that so many times where I accidentally cancel the entire thing and then I have to go through the entire dialogue of telling Tom I want to demolish something again and it's like, ugh, infuriating. Now we save and then we end. The dialogue in this game is a whole game in itself. Facts. Especially when you're trying to talk to Leaf. If you're trying to buy clothes like more than one item at a time like all of that is nuts so but yeah let me switch over and we'll go to the next day on the bright side i can go get the trash cans i ordered <laughs> i'm excited about that <laughs> okay let's see All right. Yay, trash. Woo, trash can. Who doesn't love a good trash can? All right. Let's load it back up, boys. You know, I've been trying to decide what I want to do for, like, YouTube videos. I feel like I could start playing Stardew and do a little series on YouTube for that. Like, first time ever playing. That'd be fun. I want to keep my Twitch to, like, mostly Animal Crossing. Like, I want to... I want to build a name for myself in the community. Which sounds, like, extra, but that's kind of what I want. And, um, so I don't want to switch off of Animal Crossing too much, you know? But we could go back to doing like a once a week Stardew or something on Twitch. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. It's hard to like start off streaming and doing variety. And so I just feel pressure about that, you know? I'm undecided. But either way, I get my trash cans. Ooh, and I forgot to put down a pipe still. I just hate running around in this game. Like, I want to be where I need to go. Aw, Isabel's done with her sweater. I just got too tired of winter, y'all. I could not decorate in winter anymore. It was driving me mad. It's funny to see her in her shirt again, though. 
Adorable. Oh wait, trash cans, trash cans, trash cans. <clears throat> yes. Garbage, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I don't I don't worry about those right now. I just wanted the garbage. Give me that garbage. Oh. oh. What a moody day on Moonbeam. Oh, it sounds so weird. Like running in the the rain. Alright. So no, 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 no. That's all what I meant. Let's get back out our construction hat. Say goodbye to the bandana. But I think now that I've taken down the incline, this is going to be a lot easier. Today is not torty. <laughs> it's not a torty day. Um. All right. Let's see if I remember how to terraform. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Do I want to like build this up too? Yeah, why not? Let's make it complete. God dang it. God dang it. I've got this. I've got this. Where are my Lori? I know, right? <clears throat> You know, don't ask me why she wanted to be called Tortimer, but I love that she did. I did love that she did. Haha, <laughs> you need the constant validation for her LOLs. I'll let her know. Like, hey, we needed that. Leptic really needed you today. Megan doesn't need you. I do. Okay, let's get out a ladder. I have some a couple of permanent ones that we can use. So, let me see. Oh, this is the only one I have. I'll get a better one, but this will do. This will do. Are my LOLs not good enough for you, Leptic? Am I not giving you enough validation here? You're supposed to be giving me validation, okay? This is what this is about. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is really just about me struggling to create an island and hoping that others kind of enjoy, like, you know, watching. Oh my god, the weeds have changed. The weeds changed, y'all. <gasps> what? Hold on. Hold on. Let me go down. Let me go down. It's your boy. Um, yeah, hold please. I don't want that. I'm kind of sad. I liked our other weeds. <laughs> the skate park can wait. The weeds cannot. Like, they're really cute, but it's just weird to look at them like this because it's so different. It's so different. I'm a big fan of the like the spiky ones, the ones that look like grass, and now they don't look like grass. Like, who is she? What is this? What is that? Maybe we'll forever stay in like early March. <laughs> I like the summer weeds though, so once it hits summer, it'll be okay. All right, so let's let's plan this out again. I'm gonna use my little flower this time to plan it. I'm gonna pull up my reference photo. I'm not gonna keep it on screen this time, but I'm gonna pull it up. So if we have fences right here, we should be able to terraform right about there. You know what? I should have gotten a fence to try. Hold please. We're gonna like put our fences up first and then make sure there's room for them. I don't know how, how many I have left. 
we've really i've gone to like i've gone to a treasure island so many times just for fences because i keep running out and i should honestly stop using them like all of the lag on my island is because of these like it is all their fault all right let's try oh it looks really cute next to the house though i like it i like it where is it oh. like i think it looks kind of cool on top of this cliff Oh no. Hold on. Wait. Oh my god, I'm really struggling. Hold on. I need to move this. <clears throat> That's just what Big Fence wants you to think. Oh my god. Stop. Thank you, Strawberry. I think it's gonna... This is cute. This is super cute. And we put our, per our flower in the perfect spot, so yay. Um, and then I would put the other one right here. So this would be like our little two by two. Love it. And then I want to leave about... So this is kind of where the incline would come out, right? And then I want like two or three spaces in between. So let's try with two. So one, two, three. And then we'll build another two by two right here. Technically, we have room um, to move it over one more. But I think this will work because this would look, you know, this is definitely decently like spaced out. I don't know how it'll look with the inclines just yet, but. I think we're going to be good. Like looking back at our at our photo, I think we're going to be fine. <clears throat> so let's let's try and put our first one let's do it i'm nervous this is gonna turn out bad but like i gotta have faith i gotta have faith ignore that um <clears throat> i just think that a skate park is gonna be like the most perfect thing for moonbeam i'll go ahead and build this one up and then we'll go talk to Tom again. Yay, so excited. I love talking to Tom. I love messing up terraforming. This game is so cozy and chill. Look at that. That's totally what I meant to do. <laughs> God dang it. All right. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Does anyone ever talk to her? Does anyone ever do it? Not me. <laughs> we'll get there. One day. One day it'll happen. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> no, she never gives anything worth the time. Like, at all. Like, I don't know. I don't like her for some reason. Um, okay. Let's make an incline. We have to pick a color. I'm pretty sure I want to do like a white plank. Just like that. Like, kind of like a reference photo. Um, because other than that, we would have to do a natural ramp or a blue plank. And I like how in the photo that we have, um, it's white. And I think it would look kind of cool. But the natural ramp isn't the worst idea. I just... I think the white would work the best. It would match the pink and, you know... I just think the reference photo works so well. Like the original design. And it, like, is inspiring, you know? Like, I want it to look like that. I think we'll try the white. Thank you. 
You think so too? Strawberry? Okay. Okay, good. Makes me feel more confident. <laughs> Makes me feel a lot more confident. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, please. Also need to go ahead and get a bunch of money so I can pay both of these off. I don't remember the exact price, but I think we'll just get out like 300. That works. Okay. I think my pockets were a little too full. I have way too much money also. I know. I know. I know. I don't think I'm ever going to put a, like a full dent in that money. Like I'm just not. Treasure Islands, baby. All right. So let's see if this goes perfectly. It's possible. All right, let me imagine it. Okay, let's do it. All right, Lloyd, let me give you some money. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, as much as possible, please. Take all of my money. Awesome. Now we do it again. <laughs> Exciting. I have no patience. Like, I swear, I don't... I, I really... After I finish this whole island, my goal is to do a no terraforming like no treasure island type of island but i will always keep time or so no treasure island no terraforming i will always keep time traveling but i will say it is going to be so so difficult like crazy difficult to um not use a treasure island for me because i've been using it for months okay like i'm so used to having like an unlimited supply of money and i'm just like what how do i how do i live without that like how does one do that you know i forgot how to actually like play it normally i don't know i know i can do it it's just like oh my god it's gonna be a lot of work but yeah time traveling never getting rid of okay I won't be excessive, I don't think, but I think it makes a big difference. You're struggling after restarting. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Like, I remember what it was like, you know, um, and then I discovered the glory and I was like, oh, this is nice. But I also want to go back to playing the game how when I first started or like the same way when I first started, because it was fun, you know. It just like gives you different goals in the game right now, like my goals are always design centered not like playing the game correctly or how it was meant to be played so i still get joy out of it but i do think that going back to it would be fun yeah gotta get all your funds back yep but i think that honestly i might be able to finish this island like within a couple months and so at that point it's like it'll be time and i'm excited i've been tempted to honestly restart sooner than that but like there's no way i put so much work into this island and i'm very happy with how it is so far so we're definitely sticking with it until it's like done Look at that golden sunset in the background. Gorgeous. Oh my God. The sunset is so pretty. I still never placed my pipe. So let's run through the sunset together.
I gotta say I do love walking around my island at sunset because it's just it's so pretty like look at that look at that hi Teddy definitely enjoy before you restart oh yeah oh yeah there's our fence I just gotta see all of this in the sunset right the park area is oh my god look at that that is such a fun view. I love it. I love it. And I love our art class. That was a really, really fun area to do today. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I get simple, but I think it like gets the job done, you know? I think it does. Cute. Cute, okay. We're gonna go talk to Tom again. Our favorite man. That's a lie. Right, infrastructure once again. Yes, please. This is our last time talking to Tom, thankfully. For now. The rest of this, we can do our own damn self. We don't need no man. All right. So, this is definitely the moment of truth of whether or not we need to move back this cliff. So, let's see. Because there's only going to be two spots in between. Oh, y'all, I think we need to go one more back. I think so. I think that one more back is going to be perfect, and it would be... Yeah, okay. I'm going to place our fence back here and kind of even out the cliff on the other side so it's like symmetrical, you know? Yeah, just to be safe and just to have like a little bit more room. <laughs> just to be safe. Ah, that's not what you meant? That's not... You sure? <laughs> Oh no, okay. Sorry. Alright, let's uh let's let's even her out. <laughs> okay. Easy peasy. Go back up here and tear some of our work down. Oh no, I meant to put our fences. Um, let me see if I can still do it without taking down the cliff. Uh, almost. Well done. No. There we go. I might have to take down the cliff for that, this one. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Sometimes the, this game just cooperates with you and it's so hard to know when it will, when it won't. Oh my god. Adorable. Adorable. 
I gotta figure out what to do over here, though. I might do one of those little steel fences, but we'll leave it for now. All right. All right, let me imagine it. Let me make sure. Love when it just works out. I know. It's rare. <laughs> it's rare. <laughs> All right. But hey, we've got that down. That's good. Let's pay Lloyd off and then I'll time travel once more so we can just like... Oh! Whoops. We'll time travel once more so that we can just like decorate. I love how my character looks when, like, <laughs> when I'm looking down at Loy, just like... It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> They're so expensive, I know. I know. It's bad. Yeah, it's just like the little face the character makes is adorable. I'm gonna switch headphones, or earbuds. And then I have to pick a little design for this. I was thinking I could try this to make it more pink. I kind of like it. That's not bad. I don't know. I can also just do for these two flowers, but I kind of like that for now. Like, I don't think it's the worst. My ear is like, why did you have me? Why did you have an earbud in me for two hours? Most days it's fine. Today my ear is like, what the hell? All right. Oh, you know what I'm going to do before that? So I don't have to keep running around. Pipe. More pink is always good. This is true. This is true. I think it'll look pretty fun. We'll probably keep it. Although I gotta say, it's a little bit difficult. Um, it's a little bit difficult to decorate when it's like at the sunset time. Um, because for some reason, the monitor I play Animal Crossing on is very orange. Like, it's very orange and I can't figure out how to fix it. I've tried all the settings and it still looks messed up versus like my other monitor, right? And so like, this one's orange, this one's normal. And so this one, it makes it really hard to decorate on because the color is always messed up. So I might go back a little bit earlier in the day um, in game so that it doesn't look like that. Time for a new monitor. I mean, sure. Sure. I would love to have a matching one. They're both um, Asus. Asus. Is it is it Asus? I don't know. Either way. Um, be fun to have them matching, though. Let's go back to 2.59 p.m. Why not? Yeah, it's... Um, Asus. Gotcha. Either way. It'd be, it'd be nice to have a matching one. I just... This one is, like, so frustrating. Oh my gosh. We've gotten... This has been a productive day. Like, this whole week of streaming, like, I've gotten to work on this island. Like, I have put on my boots, put on the hard hat, and gone to work. I haven't been this productive in an island, or, like, designing an island in forever. Like, I lost a lot of, like, motivation and, like, inspiration. But for some reason... This week, I've been, like, going at it. Going at it. And it feels really fun because, like, I've worked really hard on all the designs. But, like, it makes me, like, actually, like, super happy. Whereas, like, this game is always, uh, this game is always enjoyable, right? 
but it's not all the time that I get like a lot of like satisfaction from it, you know? And so it feels cool. It feels good. I think I just had a little bit of burnout, you know? But I think you can always come out of that. It's full on spring up in here. Oh, and shooting stars. Hey, I traveled back to like three o'clock, so there was no sunset. Just got out of the burnout. I'm so glad. That's awesome. I was in it for a while and I was just like, eh. Eh, you know? So I know how good it feels to get out of that. I'm really happy for you. Because, like, I just want pure enjoyment out of this game. Oh, look! It <laughs> took me on top of the cliff. Thank you. Um, so yeah, it definitely feels, it feels freaking awesome. Has a good monitor. Oh, for 149? Not bad. Leptic, if you want to go ahead and donate 149, um, you can find my tip in my about me section. Thank you. You can just tip me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All right, we need to cover all of the grass now, so we need to pick a design for that before we start decorating other stuff. <laughs> okay. So this little pink design, I don't know if it's going to work for the entire floor, just because it's like, this design is meant for like stalls. Like we, I have it used over in our like fish market and it works really well. So we'll see how it works as like flooring, but I don't know, honestly. Oh, that's, yeah, of course, strawberry. Like it, I know how it feels. So I'm happy for you. Yeah, see, I just think it's a little bit much for like the whole floor. I don't know. Like, let's see if we, if we were to just do it, maybe we cover like the surrounding edges in the sidewalk and then do gravel for the rest of it. I think that could work. And it makes it feel a little bit like more realistic, even though there's like grass under these and who would be skating on an incline looking like that, but. <laughs> You know, we don't focus on those little details. We don't worry about those. It's fine. <laughs> we could even do flower sidewalk the whole way around. That might add some fun, funness to it since we're not doing pink. I don't know. Let me, I'll lay all this down and see. Sometimes I hear this noise in my sleep. Just ping, ping, ping. Uh, on busy terraforming days, it's like, oh God. It's so repetitive. It's so repetitive. A lot of the times when I do this, I do not. It haunts your dreams. I'm literally, a lot of times when I do this and like when I'm doing a lot of terraforming, I do not have the game volume on because like I can't, I can't do it the whole time. For like the first like few months I played this game, I always had audio on. And since then, I kind of like rarely do. Um, I do now for the last like week or so that I'm streaming, now that I figured out how to hear it while streaming. Um, but before that, I did not ever listen to game audio, to be honest. Um, I just didn't really like to. I'm definitely one of those people. Some parts of the game I don't mind having the audio, but it just, it's like, meh. 
Meh. Gosh darn it. I'm really enjoying the flowers all the way around. I think this was a pretty decent plan. <laughs> yeah. It's... I don't know. I want to, like... It makes me feel bad because I'm like, I know that the, the game, you know, makers intended for everyone to, like, always have it on. So when I don't listen to it, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm gonna have to redo all those fences. I should have thought this through. How adorable though. How cute is that? Do we put it up here too? Do we? Nah. Nah. I don't like that. I don't like that. I love the flower sidewalk. Honestly, I think the pink works better. So we'll do that. But let me finish this. I think the flower all the way around helps it like, you know, just be a more fun area. Cause I want this to be like really extra, really cute. Cause it's our last big build on this island. Everything else is tiny details. Like this is the last big thing we're doing. No pressure. I definitely feel pressure. Okay, so the flower one didn't work for the ramp. We could also try this plain sidewalk. Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't hate it. Why does it hang over on this one? Not this one. Like, there's no hang. And then over here, there's so much. That's dumb. I don't like that. <laughs> it is bizarre. Like, I don't get it. It's tricky then to decide, like, what I want to do there. Because the pink overhangs, too. My only option is like to do like dirt. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have put that down. Hold on. I can try the dirt. I don't think I'm going to love it. If I don't, I'm just leaving it blank. Not blank, but like I'm just not putting anything down. So let's see. It kind of hangs over too. That's funny. Why? That's so odd. This isn't that bad though. Like, do I do this or do I just put up with the overhang and use a cute sidewalk? You know? <sighs> oh my god. Strawberry, let's try it. Hold on. Hold on. That's a really good point. I'm gonna try the dark dirt and see. Sometimes that definitely fixes it. So hold on. Let's try just using this one. Hmm. Hmm. It might look better with this one because it doesn't have a line. I mean, it's not. Actually, hold on. I'm going to use the light dirt. It might look better. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's not the worst. Not the best. This is definitely a tricky area. That's why I'm like, do I just put up with the overhang? I don't freaking know. So let me try the light dirt. I think it'll work better. Or the regular dirt path. Let's see. Let's 
See, I mean, that's cuter because it's like not as dark. It just looks so weird with like the white incline that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if that really like fits. I think it's a lot better though. I want to see how it looks with the pink real quick, just in case. Oh, what? What? What the hell? Okay, apparently it doesn't work with that one. Um, apparently I learned actually if there is not, if there is not at least one transparent tile, it will still do that. If there's at least one transparent tile, it will go in the shape of like, or like it'll fall in with like the in-game pathing. So all of these have like a tiny little corner with a transparent tile. And so it doesn't do that. But yeah, it, I learned that a couple weeks ago and I was like, that's freaking dumb. <laughs> and that is so dumb. But I think I like this the most out of everything we've done. And it's pretty cute. With the light dirt, it definitely fixed it. So let's do that. This area is going to be so cute. Yeah, I learned it actually Um, oh my god, who was I watching? God, I don't remember. It might have been like EJ Plays or something like that. But I was like, that is the best tip because I, I, I never understood why. All right. adorable look at this that's like the perfect angle you can see all of it awesome that is so awesome can't you like knock down the incline also like am i crazy C can you knock this down you can That's something to think about. That's something to think about, honestly. Huh. And I could put like a little step up ladder right here. Now I wish I had known that and I could have like Pushed him back a little further. But I kind of like the idea of that. I'm not gonna lie. I do too. I don't want to go through all of that again, Leptic. That was so much work. That was so much work. It took like 10 minutes. <laughs> that was excessive. Plus, if we do this, I can still have the fence and I can put a little step up ladder to this. <laughs> it's only 256,000 bells. No big deal. Right? That's the other downside if like, when I stop doing treasure islands, I gotta be really careful about my decisions. Like, can't just be willy nilly with it. Oh my god, I really like this. I like this a lot. Yay. All right, ramp placement done. Heck yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yay, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it too. I have so much like I feel like I've given myself a necessary pressure though because this is the last, you know, the last build. I want it to be really cute and perfect. Unless I like go back and change other stuff, which I don't really plan to. This is it. No pressure. <laughs> Oops. 
it's gonna be so funny once we start on other sections of the island because you'll be like up here experiencing the city and then you pan over and you just see a farm like you just see farm core like we'll see that'll be fun Oops. All right, fences are back in place. Do I have any other fences? I think we're out of fences. Ah, uh, speaking of treasure islands, I definitely need to go back to the one. Okay. So without the fences, I'm going to look back at my reference photo again. There was a couple things that they added. One of them was like some benches and like stage lights, which could be really fun. We can try those out. And that was pretty much it for their area. Like it's really open. So I want to try and mimic that a little bit and see what we want to add from there. Um, but those big stage lights, I think that I have some. Uh, I don't know where they would be in my inventory, but they've got to be down here. Like, what? I know I got some, y'all. I know. It. Okay, there it is. The stadium light. So I'll see how these look. And then, ooh, bubble machine. Why not? And some benches. We have two more pink ones. Oh no, pockets are full. Let me try the stadium lights first. It would be like here. Honestly, looks pretty sick. I still need to put fences back there, but that's pretty cool. I like it. I think we'll definitely use those. A plus, A plus, okay. Hmm. So the problem here is that I'm running out of items that I need. Like, I really need those pink fences. And I don't think I even have skateboards. So I'm like, do I go to a treasure island right now? I think we're gonna do it. Why not? Let's go crazy. Let's be crazy. Yeah. I'll, I have a few skateboards lying around, but I definitely need, like, I don't know, at least, like, two for over there. So. Let's clear out our inventory. <laughs> Love take maybe a pair of roller skates. If... If they had them... Hell yeah. Absolutely. I added some music, by the way. Let me know if it's too loud. Um, that'd be so cool if there were roller skates. No, they don't. I know. I know. It's kind of BS. Like... I've seen people place down shoes in the game and like a little custom design to look like roller skates. And I'm like, that's not the same. It's really not. It's just not. It's sad. That's a forking tragedy. I know. I know. 
All right. I'm actually going to place one of these here before I forget. <laughs> Cute. Let me put the rest away. It's honestly very smart, though. Like, the fact that people have made, like, little custom designs and put down shoes. Like, that's pretty smart. Alright, let's run through our laggy city. <laughs> totally empty. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Gosh. Okay. I'm gonna get... Let me find some dodo codes real quick. Oh no, my sub expired. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we need to fix that. That's hilarious. I finally go to open up a treasure island. I can't. Okay. All right, y'all. Dodo code secured. So we're going to switch over here while I do this real quick. I have to remember which island I go to. I sub, uh, I subscribe to this. Well, my husband subscribes to this like ACNH treasure island on Twitch. And they have so many islands to choose from, and I always forget which one I, like, prefer. Um, okay, I found it. But my husband is the best. He uses his free prime sub for it, and lifesaver you've never gone to one but once you start decorating you'd love to it's a it's a game changer um because like you know for me decorating is my favorite part i love design and so to like have access to all of the items and like not stress so much about it and just enjoy the decorating is really nice <laughs> like you can make everything you want like come to life because you're not worried about like do you have the bells for it like all of that, like, do you have it in the right color or, you know, et cetera. So it's a, it's a game changer. It's a little ad addicting though, but I will say if you ever go to one, I would definitely subscribe to someone because if you don't, you can still get into a treasure island, but they're always busy unless you sub. Um, because then there's less people using the treasure island because not everyone subs, but everyone wants to go to the free treasure islands. So I would definitely like give that five bucks for a month you know, of access and like just be done, you know? Like I would, I highly recommend that. I used to sit for like, ha like half an hour to an hour trying to get into a treasure island and it was like a waste of time. <laughs> Yes, so I use, um, I sub to ACNH Treasure Island on Twitch. And they are 10 out of 10. They have, like, over 10 islands that you can choose from to visit. And, um, they all have different themes. So the one we're going to has, like, an abundance of certain items. Um, you know, they'll have, like, 
10 or 20 of one item other islands they have might have you know one of each but they have more to choose from if that makes sense yeah you're welcome they're they're a really good account honestly they're a really good account Okay, yeah, so this one that we're going to, like you can see they have so many of, of everything. It's the best. It's the best. Like, I love this place. Although I have come here so many times for only these stupid pink, pink fences that we're about to get. This island, man. Treasure Island's become like a freaking a chore sometimes it's like walmart for animal crossing literally literally it's yeah it really feeds my shopping addiction to come to treasure islands i love it because i can have anything i want like all of this i can have it more like costco True. True. So much crip. Literally true. Oh, look at this cutie. Don't take my pink ones. I'll fight you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. I thought she was about to come over here and I was like, mm. Mm. The only downside I would say of treasure islands are sometimes like you can get booted out of one if someone doesn't leave correctly. Like if someone leaves by um, not going through the airport, you'll get booted home to your island without any of the items you took. That's why subbing is like makes it so much easier because um, it's easier to go back in and get in the island again. She Black Friday shopping, right? <laughs> okay that's definitely a, way too many fences let's get some trash bags i think we're out of those about a hitter with a net you know it i like my net i'm gonna get a few flags just in case this is what i do i just like grab stuff like oh maybe i'll use that maybe i'll want it just like thrifting you know maybe <laughs> I might want to use it. <laughs> oh, that person's leaving. Now we have to wait. Chop, chop, girl. Chop, chop. Zakia. I love her hat. I love her hat so much. Okay, there we go. We're back. Let's fill up a couple more pink benches. Oh, and that's all the inventory. Happens fast, ladies and gents. It happens real fast. But this is my favorite island to go to because, like, when you're really trying to build a consistent island or a consistent city, a consistent farm, you can come here and get 30 fences, you know, easy peasy. Okay, all done. Now we can finish at least the fences over at the skate park. And we get to see a little flyover of my island, which is always super, super fun. Oh, whoops. My bad. Okay, sorry, I had to wait on this 
For this treasure island, I use Discord, and you have to, like, react when you leave and fly in. Just so they can make sure you're not, like, sharing your dodo code or something like that. Oh my god. Look at our little flyover. That's so cute. Oh my god, I love it so much. Oh. Gosh. I really love what I've made. Love a good overview. The soccer area, thank you. That's one of my favorites. It's a really small area, but it turned out so cute. Just like a tiny little, you know, off the city park. I think I did like a pretty decent job with this island with like lots of like, you know, stuff with the roads and the sidewalks. Eventually there will be like more cars, but then also we have like a few trees at least, you know, just a few. Just a couple. I think honestly there's like six trees on this island. Wow, why is everyone hanging out here today, huh? Look at that. Okay. Yay, I'm excited that we can just put these up and like we can get done with it. Because I don't know if we're going to finish today, but at least we can get like the structures set up. We can get the fences, the stadium lights, and then we can do all of our like little items. Oh, have like a little amber alert. I know the like flowers are completely covered up basically, but I'm still happy we did them. I'm still happy we did them because you can see, you know, it's like not just plain. Oh my god, did I like plan this perfectly on accident? Look at that! That never happens, oh my god. Look at that. Yay! Easy peasy. Totally meant to do that on purpose. Alright, so this is where I was thinking of putting a bench. I don't know if it'll work though, so let's see. <laughs> All planned. Totally! For sure, for sure. Accidentally doing something well, yeah. We do it all the time, don't worry. So here's where I was thinking we could do the benches on both sides. Cool, loves it. That'll be really fun. I wanna see like a angled view of this again. That's pretty cool. So I still need to customize these to put the little heart message on it though. And then, but I like the placement. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Yes, aren't these like the cutest item? <laughs> that is probably my favorite item that came out in the 2.0 update is literally just the benches. Like they're the cutest thing I've ever seen. And they really like make city core so much easier because they're adorable. They're like, freaking cute as heck okay let's put all this up and get back out only the stuff that we need all right first up workbench secured customization kits Secured. <laughs> Benches again. Done. And then. Oh, right. We need our stadium lights back. I don't know how many I want to use yet. Probably only three, but I'm going to get all five. And then I want these. What else? Oh, right. I forgot. I don't know if we have any more skateboards. I needed to check. Let's see. No, I don't. 
Can we order those? I love that I can use the Nook shopping app, but most of the time I don't remember what's actually for sale and what's not. Because a lot of this stuff, for some freaking reason, is not actually for sale. So, let's find out. Yay, it is for sale. Okay, let's buy a pink one. Honestly, another pink. And a damaged and a yellow. I'll do two yellows. Okay. So we'll have those the next time we time travel. Perfect. But I want to at least get the stadium lights up. I was like, guys, this morning I was like, we might finish the island today. No. No. There's so much to do. Like, are we close? Yeah. But there's still a lot I want to do. <laughs> oh, you could turn these off. That's cool. I was like, seriously, I was like, mm, we can do it, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm so excited for the skateboards to come in. They're going to really help the area, obviously. So, um, I just don't love how these look, you know, they're so bulky. Maybe we pull it over here. To where you, like, can't see it at all. <laughs> or at least the base of them, you know? Like, I just don't want to see the whole thing. Like, they throw off the pink fantasy. Yeah. Like so. And then I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to keep these, y'all, but I was thinking we could use these little bubble, blah, 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 the blah, 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 you know, just a little blah, 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 um, the little bubble machines, because I really wanted, I thought it would add like a fun element to have like <laughs> bubbles. Let me see. <laughs> it's kind of freaking adorable. It's kind of adorable. Look at that. Let me put the other one. Hold on. Oh my god. It's... I love it. I think we have to keep it. I think we have to. I was hoping I could like hide them, but honestly, I don't even care. Look at that. How can I not have bubbles here? Like, yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I could like push the lights over a little at a skate park. It's kind of a hazard, you know, but don't worry about it. Don't you worry. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh my god, I'm just trying to get back here without picking it up. Like, these could literally, like, get in your eye or, like, make you slip and, like, injure yourself, but it's okay. They're cute. They're cute. Okay? No, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, this is what I was thinking. They're like a little bit more hidden. Like a smidge. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that instead. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, hold on. What? What the heck? Hold on. I've got this. I've got this for sure. I'm just gonna push it all the way. <laughs> mm. 
Yay! I love it. I think it makes the area so much more fun. I'm a big fan. Or a big bubble blower. Nah, that sounds kind of creepy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Whoops. Yeah, I think that is super, super fun. Okay. Okay. I need to go eat. I need to go eat something, y'all. Let me switch over. So, I want to say... Thank y'all so much for hanging out today. Thank you. We were really productive today. Did we finish? No. Did I want to? Yes, but that's okay. That's okay. We got a lot done. And I think maybe like one or two more streams and this will be done and we can move on to the next theme, which is crazy. Strawberry, you're so welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, it was really, really fun chatting with you. I really appreciate you hanging out today. You rock. I can't wait to watch your stream also. So thank you so much. I'm excited. I hope you all have a really, really good night. Personally, I'm going to go eat. Try and do some kind of movement. You know, we might skate. We might walk. You know what I mean? One of those. But yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, okay? Um, and I won't be on until Monday. So have a really good weekend. And yeah, we'll catch up soon. And Strawberry, we will. See you soon. All right, bye. See ya.